In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use three of the most common tracking techniques in After Effects in under 3 minutes. Before we start, let's make sure our Tracker tab is visible. If not, go into Window and make sure Tracker is selected. Now let's get started on the first type of tracking, which is Point Tracking. With our clip selected here, go into your Tracker and select Track Motion. It will bring up this tracking point which you can attach to something that stands out in your shot. For example, this wheel cap here, I'm gonna place it right here and hit Track Forward. And as you can see, it sticks through it all throughout the clip. Now let's go ahead and create a null object and go into our tracker and select edit target. Make sure the null object you created is selected, hit OK, go to your tracker once again and select apply and hit OK. Now all this tracking data is transferred to this null object. So if we go ahead and create a text here and we parent it to this null object, you can see it sticks all the way through the clip. And you can go ahead and make the text 3D and rotate it in 3D space as well and it will still stick to the tracking point you created, just not in 3D space. The next type of tracking is object tracking, which basically stabilizes the camera around a certain object in your shot. We create this in a very similar way to the previous track, so select your clip, go into tracker and select track motion. Now let's select an area that stands out, let's say this 10 area here, and track forward. Okay, now once that is done, just go into your tracker here and select under tracker type stabilize. Hit apply and hit ok. Now our shot will look like this with some black bars all around the footage, but all you have to do is scale it up and let's center it in where we want to. And as you can see our shot is stabilized around the area we tracked. Moving on to 3D tracking which is also fairly simple and common in After Effects. With your clip selected, go into your tracker and select track camera. Now this should take about a minute depending on your shot. And you'll see these tracking points created on your shot. If you don't see them where you want to or the tracking failed, I recommend you try to go to advanced here and select detailed analysis to let it run through once again. Now with one of these tracking points, we can select one of them, for example, this area. I'm gonna right click and create text and camera. And we've got a camera created moving just like the shot here and a text which is already positioned on this tracking spot. So if we go ahead and scale down this text here and as simple as that, we've got a 3D track text in After Effects. If you're wondering how I created this type of text, I've got a tutorial just for that, which explains how you can rotate it around a mask here to create the similar effect. This has been it for this tracking tutorial, I hope this was quick and useful, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.